Um, my name is David Ortolano, O-R-T-O-L-N-O, -O, Chief of Police, City of Dunkirk, New York. Uh, this morning, November 25th, 2008, at approximately 2.27 a.m., Dunkirk Police Department responded to a 911 call for assistance at 170 West 2nd Street. Upon arrival, city officers found an adult male victim outside of the residence who was an apparent victim of a stabbing. The victim, who was later identified as Bellman L. Davis, Jr., 31 years of age from Dunker, was treated by the Dunker Fire Department Rescue, an all-star medic unit, at the scene and transported to Brooks Memorial Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. At approximately 9 a.m., an autopsy was performed at the Erie County Medical Center in Buffalo, with the preliminary findings that the victim died as a result of the stab wounds. The result of the investigation by the Dunker Police Department and the Chautauqua County District Attorney's Office, a suspect has been placed in custody. Suspect is currently being held by the New York State Division of Parole on a violation. Dunkirk Police Department and District Attorney's Office were assisted in this investigation by the Feronia Police Department, Stock County Forensic Team, Stock County Sheriff's Department, and the New York State Police. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victim's family during this tragic time, and I wish to personally commend the work of the men and women of the Dunkirk Police Department, Detective and Patrol Divisions, for their work on this case and for their dedication every day to keeping our community safe. I also wish to commend and thank Stock County District Attorney David Foley, the County Forensic Investigation Team, the Colonial Police Department, the Stock County Sheriff's Department, and the New York State Police for their assistance. At this time, our investigation is still continuing, and we urge anyone with information to call the Dunkirk Police Department at 716-366-22. Six, six, our confidential tip line, which is 3630163, or they can contact the district attorney's office at 716-753-4241. At this time, I'll turn it over to the district attorney, David Foley. Uh, this situation developed rather... Uh, Quickly this morning, the call came in around 2.30 a.m. Uh, I arrived on the scene around 3 a.m. this morning, and we've been working steadily since that time and put this together. I would like to personally thank uh, Chief Orlano and the members of the City of Dunford Police Department for their continued effort. Uh, this is the second homicide that we've had in the City of Dunford, I think, in the last uh, month and about a month and a half. Uh, and we've been uh, successful in being able to put together cases on both of them. Uh, again, this is still under investigation, but we were able to uh, take a suspect into custody. Uh, that suspect is currently on parole through New York State, and we were able to obtain a warrant for a parole violation. So that person is being held. That will allow my office time to work with the City of Dunkirk Police in putting this case together and hopefully uh, securing an indictment uh, via the grand jury. Name. David Foley. No, not talk to him. <laughs> <the> district attorney. <laughs> you arrested yourself, the person you arrested. Uh, we are not uh, at this time releasing the name. Once we secure an indictment, the name will be released. Now, this is a similar situation as the last month, where there was a person was a parole violation. Uh, completely unrelated to the the incident last month. Uh, that occurred over on Deer Street. On Deer Street, on Deer Street. Um, it, it's just it, you know, it's, it's mere circumstance that both suspects in both both cases happen to be on parole. Name of the victim again? Drugs. Victim is a Velvin Davis Jr., age 31, Dunker. I uh, don't want to comment on on what we believe motive is at this time. Do we know what happened at all? Was there a struggle between these two people? Again, at this point, we, we will simply say that, that it would appear as though Mr. Davis died as a result of st uh, several stab wounds, more than one stab wound. Do they know each other? I will not, I will not, I will not comment on that. Did you recover the weapon? Uh, we're not going to comment on that. Can you say what he was on parole for? Was it... No. Serious. Anything else? Or what? Uh, 
Uh, spoke with the state police uh, today on the Corey Anderson investigation. Uh, clearly, I think that any any uh, efforts to continue to search have have been somewhat hampered by the by the snow uh, that we've received in Chautauqua County. So most of those have been at least temporarily sus uh, suspended. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to renew that uh, once we get better weather. Are there any witnesses in this day? Uh, we'll not comment on that. It's under investigation. We encourage anyone with any information they might have to uh, call either my office or the uh, Dunford Police. Now, the person arrested is being held because they were um, they violated parole, or you're able to hold them, but technically they are just a suspect in this right now? I'm labeling them a suspect. They have not been charged uh, with a parole violation. That gives my office time. In other words, we don't have to go out and lay a local accusatory instrument, we can prepare the case and do what's called a direct presentment to grand jury. And because that person's being detained on the parole violation, it gives us the time to be able to do that. What was the parole violation? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. It, at this point, uh, any information we have in, in regards to the parole violation, uh, most of it is, is separate from the offense. Can you go into any detail about how you were able to track this suspect down? Good police work. Uh, you know, we. I, I think that you know what I think it takes is the combined effort between the city of Dunkirk police and my office. We sit down in any case like this, and, and, and I think you need to hit the ground sort of running uh, and move quickly. And, and again, I commend the city of Dunkirk police uh, for doing that. Their investigation unit moved very quickly in developing leads. I think that you need to act swiftly, and they did. Uh, and you combine that with the work of the forensic investigation team. Uh, that, that was out of the scene and collected evidence, and hopefully that bears fruit as well. It, it really is a, a true team effort when it comes down to uh, trying to get these things closed. You want to do it quickly, and you want to, you want to follow leads, and, and we were able to do that. We were fortunate. Um, I'll reiterate what the DA said in that uh, we hit the ground running this morning, and throughout the course of the day, the, uh, it's been 10, 12 hours now, and we've uh, all been together as a team working on this, putting our heads together, and plotting out uh, our plan of action and, and uh, worked out very well for us.